Hello there, what's the story, what's the crack, how are you all keeping? This is the Panama GS Panama Butcher, and welcome back to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. This is episode 3, and so far we haven't really got a wild pile done. Uh, we have, you know, initial defences uh, sorted out. Well, I say sorted out, we have one level of walls, and we have two gates that haven't been built yet. That's that's what I mean by sorted out. Uh, level 2 here is the farms. They're just, you know, cycling through, doing their job. I love this goddamn song, the background is absolutely fantastic. And with the first workshop area done, and I think, yeah, we are slowly making wooden balls and spiked wooden balls I should say and mugs and the other little bits and pieces that a fort needs and we have the first bedroom level sorted with beds for more than um, all of our dwarves and I kind of lie we have 11 dwarves only 10 rooms actually made and then we have a dining room uh, there will be more rooms made off the uh, side of this but until then this is this is what we have um, Suppose we could go ahead and start digging out this. Um, did I just do I? No, don't do I. Do this. And in this room, we'll set up nearly every other workshop that we have at our disposal. If they get rounded, that is. Uh, materials wise, drink is on its way up, plants on its way up. Uh, value of the forts on its way up and to be honest we shouldn't be too far away from um, the first what do you call it trade caravan opportunity it should just be around the corner piles of doors there which makes you think our doors have nothing to do so let's build a few doors ah take it on planner mode Again, as I said earlier, we're only going to make them in the rooms that already have beds in it. I know there's a bed off to the uh, right here, but I'll wait till this whole area is filled with beds before pressing ahead with those. And once the doors are in, we can designate these. Actually, you know what? Uh, Q. We can actually designate these as rooms anyway, even with the door just being planned. Now that those are designated as bedrooms, the doors will come and. Well, use them whenever they're ready. Now, has this been cancelled for any reason? No, just inactive. Inactive. Okay, so clearly there's just too much for dwarves to do at the minute. Struck rock crystal. Uh, go to announcements and then zoom to location. Ah, okay, so they are they are digging here now. And there is, of course, more gold that is being mined out as they are clearing the area, which is fantastic to see. Um, because, yeah, the uh, let's just say the gold goblet industry is is a fine industry to be in. It's uh, got lots of opportunities to make many, many dwarf books, and striking gold uh, is quite profitable overall. Also, kind of annoyed that I didn't wait and have a longer history in the world. For those of you who don't know, like you can have over a thousand years of history, and it does take a bit of time for the to be randomly generated because it doesn't just generate a world; it generates geological evolution, it, uh, the evolution of civilizations. Each individual character that has ever existed in the world, its life, who it's met, who it had relationships with, what it did, achieved, didn't achieve, is randomly generated. And that leads to a lot of fascinating things that happen within your own fort if you allow the world to develop a rich history. But unfortunately, I got impatient because it's been a while since I played Dwarf Fortress and I cut it short at 203 years. So, yeah, we are limiting some of the interesting stories that could be un unveiled, I think, is the word I'm looking for. But you know what? Uh, it could be worse. Could it a 10 year history world? Uh, Sacriel has, you know, not done something. Ready, right, right. I don't know if I'm going to name the rest of the dwarves. I kind of just couldn't be arsed, to be honest. I took far too long naming the ones that we currently have. We have struck more native gold. Hallelujah. Bring it on. Resume. 
kind of annoying that it's an edge of our uh, dig area because I like keeping everything compact and if I dig out that gold that's in the bottom right hand corner there um, I'm going to use K for this if I dig this out then the vein could go, you know, continue on this way and there's no way of me unseeing all the blocks this uncovers by digging out and that means this level will always have this permanent nicely nicely shaped workshop area and then boom um, this one big random shit off in the bottom right hand corner I mean if we're sh running short of gold or something like that then maybe we will do it but um, screw it. Autumn has come. So the game will obviously for me now and once it's finished saving I'll uh, have to unpause the game. But that does mean that the first of our uh, the caravans to come from our Dwarven Brothers from the Mountain Home will uh, be arriving shortly. You do get caravans from humans and the goddamn elves. But they don't usually have as decent stuff. Uh, you can't sell elves wood because they're weird. But they'll sell you wood stuff, but you're not allowed to sell them wood stuff, or you're not allowed to cut wood in general. If I cut down too many trees, an ambassador from the elves will come and tell me, uh, excuse me sir, but could you please stop cutting down the trees? And I'll be like, fuck you Mr. Elf. Uh, so yeah, when the human and elf, especially the elven caravans, once they arrive, we will actually uh, seize all of their material and just steal it. Because that's what you do. That scared the shit out of me, hey. Ooh, but it's only a thief, and once they're spotted, they run away. So that's good. Uh, we pro will probably want to uh, put traps up around the outside of our walls. Sorry, instead of a moat, have some traps. Um, but we won't want to block the gates from anybody coming in. Um, but yeah, that that cr that was creepy. Okay, our rock stockpile has got a big boost. That's mainly because uh, a combination of this room and this mixed with this. Uh, this room, um, when I have the room shooting off uh, from the four sides of it, it'll probably just take on a similar pattern to this. Except, of course, the center will be a big fucking dining room. That beep really does annoy me. Every time I've tried disabling that sound so many times, I can't get rid of it. Can I get rid of it, lads? I think it's like dead turkeys and stuff. Badger boar skeleton, hamster remains, skunk partial skeleton, skunk skeleton, turkey gobbler skeleton. It's because our hunter has nowhere to take this stuff. I wish that he would just. Why do we have idle dwarves and unbuilt fucking buildings? <laughs> Can you please finish the bloody butcher shop? Probably still stuff unfinished in here as well. Tanner shop's fine. That's how about we do this, please. Instead of standing around doing nothing. No job, no job, no job. Yeah, you do have job. We have automatic job assignment. Go and make the bloody butcher shop. Or workshop, I should say. Build the gates, actually. That's another good thing. Sometimes suspending them and unsuspending them just reactivates the job. I don't know if that's actually how it is done. Possibly. We st struck yellow zircon. That's a gem, I think. Not really useful. Um, speaking of caravan, here we go. The caravan from wherever that is has arrived. Nice. Where are they arriving in from? Doesn't matter. I want to see them here very shortly. Q. Um, need to go here. Request trader at the depot and then remove goods. Now we shall search for shift. Where are you searching? And select uh, finished goods bin. Okay, and I'll select. Uh, do we have any loose mugs sitting about? No. Spiked wooden ball. And we have to assign each and each of these have to be carried out individually. Didn't get as many uh, 
created it as I was hoping, but we did have a lot of uh, jobs lined up for our dwarves. So actually, no, there is quite a few here. Should be able to get something out of this uh, whole trading cycle, and you can see our trading depot is filling up with the materials that our dwarves uh, have created and have assigned. And now we're going to talk with the outpost liaison, and this is basically a conversation where you know, like, oh, we want this. This is the price. Uh, the world is the same as ever. Great. Begin discussion. Uh, no, don't want that much leather, these idiots. Well, we'll take that. Uh, cups, mugs, and goblets. We're going to be creating a lot of them. Uh, sheets, yes. Sheets are used by... It's a new mechanic in Dwarf Fortress. Um, sheets are used to create like books and books. People can write poems and stories and all that kind of stuff. And Some of the stories are quite interesting, if you want to believe that. Uh, we'll take scroll rollers. Book bindings, scrolls, choirs, bookcases, keyboards, bodies, da, blah, 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 blah. Musical instruments are quite important now because people come and they can sing, children can play with it. We'll take some yarn, cloth, rope, bags, a few eggs, a few crutches, splints, buckets, lye, charcoal, potash. Uh, don't care about the glass or the sand. A few backpacks, they'll be used by our soldiers, covers by our hunters. A few flasks, which is also for soldiers so they can carry alcohol with them. It's always important to take alcohol with you when you go to war. Uh, mm. See if they bring us any cages instead of having to build them ourselves. Don't care about that stuff. Some leaves and berries. Uh, definitely some plump helmets. And of course, the more I up the number here on the right hand side, say Pawn Turtle Air. Low priority, medium priority, high priority. Uh, whoops. Just give us a selection of fish, why not? Uh, sh some meat. Some of this stuff. Don't care about that. Some cheese. Alcohol. Don't care about animals either. What the hell is this? Instruments. Some instruments. Some toys. Shields, bucklers, leggings. High boots, gauntlets, helms, leather armor, meal shirts, breastplates. Definitely picks. We need more miners. We only have two people mining at the minute because there's only two picks in the fort. And we're not in a position to make any yet. Uh, bolts, yeah, why not? Don't care about training weapons. We'll take a selection of those, those, and yeah, definitely. Blocks, large onyxes, onyxes, iron. We will accept one of all iron, or... Oh my god, I'm getting... One of all metal bars that we have here. And... Some logs, crafts, no, 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 there we go. Done, finally. Uh, well then, we have finalized the import agreement. Feel free to go over the documents. Um, that's fine, don't care really. Just go away, stop talking to me please. There we go. Oh my god, you're still talking to me! Yep, that's fine. Just give me all your goddamn stuff. Now we have to wait to the unpack. We have to wait till all our stuff has been moved to the trading depot. Then I'll go and talk to the guy and we can go through what items we can buy and sell from them. That list that we just went through is the kind of stuff we want or hope to get from them in future trading deals. We can just uh, ask for stuff uh, on what we need. Um, yeah, still taking stuff up. You can see our dwarves just uh, coming from the staircases, carrying like mainly the spiked wooden balls, mainly because uh, they're all loose. So they are. There's another. There's a spare mug there that hasn't been. Uh, See, we're still creating at wooden balls. Oh, that means it'd be over 90. Interesting. Because I did queue up uh, 120. S uh, spiked. Yep, yeah, let's include that. They're all here? 
because if they're not here it says pending uh, if we go to S again, let's go see if we can find that loose mug. No. Is it goblet? Finish goods bin. It's all there. So with another uh, 30 seconds or so, we'll see what we have here. Nope. Looks like we have a pile of idlers, which means they're not carrying anything. Let's go into the traders and T for trade. And here is the beautiful trading screen. Isn't that pretty? Uh, right. Now, on our side, we want to search for mug. Only two mugs? Really? Ah, didn't mean to do that. Well, in that case then, mugs. And, you know what? Uh, is there a way to yep? Yeah, setting selecting all goods will override your card selection. Continue, okay, and then we will uh, unmark the chest or the bin, and we'll just do the two mugs from the bin. But everything else we're sending away. So now we have we can see the bottom of my list. Uh, the value, the value we're trading is thirty two thousand, which means we have thirty two thousand uh, bucks to play with on the left hand side, which is what he has to offer. So we'll just go it from the top and see what we want. Uh, we don't want any of that stuff. Uh, or the blocks, or the clear glass. Uh, I'm down at the wood rope. I find it hard to see. Um, when I look back in the recording, it's a lot easier to see which uh, text item is selected, but on my screen it's quite difficult. So we're still at that rope thing. Uh, so yeah, we don't want any of the rope right now. Uh, we may, if we have enough money to end, grab some, but at the minute it's not, not a priority. Um, huh. Petty caged animals, but we really don't need them at the minute. What is this? Ah, I can see a wee bit on the number. Uh, don't need a milk bar. Rum bar we will take. Wine bar. More rum. Rum, rum. Where is all the rum gone? The dwarves have drunk it. Uh, we'll. Is that the spear? No. That's the spear. No, it's the pick. I need the pick. Um. I should be wearing my glasses. Yeah, I wear glasses. Leave me alone. Stop judging me. So that's the 900 uh, training axe. Copper pick. So that'll be two more. Uh. No. I'm so lost as to where I am in the queue here. Is this the bronze pick? I'm pretty sure it is. Bronze is usually pretty cheap. So... This one's also a bronze pick. We'll grab it as well. I think. Is it? Ah, starting to be able to see. Nice. Another bronze pick, I'm hoping. Bronze... Ooh, not paying that much for that one. Uh, so yeah, we skip past the, the rest of this page for now. So we will, because there is more important things to get. So there is... Where the hell is my cursor? There we go. Uh, we'll take the cloth bin. We'll take the leather bin. And that'll do for that. Nope. 25, 25, 25, 25. So we get a pile of metal bolts in. Um, that should should keep us going for a good while. We'll want a couple of iron anvils. Don't need steel anvils because, you know, we're not that fucking picky. We get a selection of meats. Doesn't really matter what the meat is, the doors will eat it. Straight away. There we go. We have a lot of money, so I'm just going to get a bunch. Yeah, five will do the job. Now let's go to plump helmets. These are a wee bit more expensive. But we're dwarves. We have lots of money. We worked hard. Did I just undo it? Ah! 
not being able to see. Yeah, my god. Right, that'll do for there. Uh, we don't need any of the armor or anything just yet. Am I even moving down? There we go. Backpack, quivers, bronze, ball, uh, let's take some cheeses. Oops. I will take some cheap splints and crutches. Don't care about that stuff. Uh, what am I even... It's a pump? No, that's not. That is a parking sheet, parking sheet, parking sheet. Right. Now that I've gone through the pain of that, now I can somehow try and go through it all again and see if we can spend some of this goddamn money. I really can't see what I'm... Is that selected that? If I make it... No. I have no goddamn bloody idea what I'm clicking on. <sighs> That's it's really frustrating. Um, this, to be honest, I don't care even what I'm taking at the minute. No, oh, not taking a two thousand pound item. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cages, grit. Um, right. Um, we should be picking up some. That's the one thousand pound one, obviously. I don't know idea what I'm taking because I can't see where my, ca uh, my cursor is. Stupid. Fucking font problems. I have j it's good to have a pair of clothes about anyway. It's just usually not the way you choose them. We will have to leave them with uh, some profit, probably around. I'll be generous and I'll give them like six k or so. That does mean we still have four k to uh, to use up here. Uh, which probably won't be too difficult. Uh, where are we here? There we go. Let's not take that. That'll do, trade. Yep. With the trade goods as they are, I cannot fathom me ending up with all of this. That is just great. I.e., you're not giving me enough profit. Oh my god, you're being a complete prick, so you are. Now I have to go through all of this and figure out where I am and undo it all. Ugh. Hold on. Where are we? Trade zero. Uh, no. Oh, I need the anvils, you idiot. Oh my god. Yeah, I want the bolts. I don't need the bracelet though. So what is he up to now? 10,000 something. What a greedy bastard, eh? I mean... Very greedy. Ungrateful. Here's me out representing the mountain home. Um, with all the dangers that that entails. And he's sitting there going, oh, give me more money. How about you just give me your goddamn goods? There we go. Done. Release the trader. No trader requested. Ugh. That was painful. Now our idle dwarves will start taking the stuff in and storing them in our store. Um, that reading the tax problem is, is quite frustrating um, for me. And as a result, we may uh, end up that 
when I record this next episode, it'll look very, very different due to the fact that I will I will have changed uh, tile sets. Um, there's just nothing can be done about that at the minute. This one's just proving. I prefer how this one looks, but the text is just proving to be too big of an issue. And yeah, I mean, keeping the game in ASCII would have been frankly better than what we were getting there. And why in God's name, whatever God that is, are those gates not bloody built yet? I mean, it can hardly be because we have no mechanisms. Some migrants have arrived. Nice. Where are they? No. Nope. Okay, they're coming in. Okay, we may only get a couple this time. Oh. No, there's quite a few coming in, actually. Coming in from there. They were coming in from the top left there. They've brought a few animals. Speaking of animals, it's probably time that we uh, rechecked what needs grazing. So that... There we go. So they'll all be moved out there. There's quite a few uh, badger boars back again. So we will have to keep an eye on them and hopefully hunt a few. But with all these extra dwarves, let's hope some shit gets done. You know, it's not a ridiculous expectation, is it? It's not. Um, right. So as you can see, a lot of the, the goods we bought are being moved in as we speak. And... Yeah. Should be well stocked now. Your food and stuff should go through the roof. Drink up to over 200. Plant food, nearly 300. We have f nearly 50 fish, 86 meat. And yeah, we are in a very, very good position. Uh, it won't be long left in this video. But I'm hoping we can get a bit more done. So we have the meeting area there where there's a lot, a lot of... Someone is complaining about fishing all the fish. Uh, we have a lot of puppies. They're, they will be butchered eventually. We have pilot badger boars and we have all the stuff that's still with the uh, the merchant. And yeah, it does take the dwarves a while to, whenever they first try to come in and start building stuff and getting around to doing their jobs. They like to mingle for a bit. And we have a butcher. Butcher's complete. Need to build a door. Build it. I don't care. Just just build it, please. And then we will start butchering the animals. So if we go to you, actually. Pets and livestock. Um, Is it Alt-B? No, Shift-B? There's some command here to get into... Uh, whoops. Ah, no. There's some command to be able to get into um, like just to com to control how and when your animals uh, are killed, you know, to control population essentially. And I really wish I could get into that with JM uh, nest box nest bow nest box. Uh, Rock nest box. Let's make 20 of them. Start getting... Did that say one? <sighs> yes, it did. Remove. J. Q. Rock. Nest box. 30. There we go. Uh, Q. Wooden. Spiked. Ball, uh, another 30 of those. Wooden spike ball, 30, and yeah, that'll do the job there. My F3 key is mugs being created in any of our workshops. Rock mug, uh, alt double? No, maybe not. Yeah, alt W, alt shift A, goblet of rock. Shift or let's make sure we have 300 to 400 goblets at any one time. Now, do stuff, dwarves. 
I really hope they aren't going to sit around and do nothing whilst there's bridges to be built. Did we use up the logs that they're scheduled to be built from? You know what, Q, let's destroy them and build new ones. Uh, remove building. Remove building. This is really build G. It's not that difficult. The bridges are really simple. How about you come this direction and let's go to the one that has 99 logs. There we go. Now, G. I'm re this really has irritated me a lot. If you couldn't tell. And in intonation in my voice. Right. Now let's see if it gets done this time. Because that would be great. Hi. Auto butcher. Auto butcher is the word I was looking for when describing um, the man or the automatic killing of animals when they reach a certain population type. Still not being done despite everyone in our goddamn fort having nothing to do. What are we just just lying about? Going on taking the day off. Nothing to mine. Prick. Build. I'm really, really pissed off with this. It's really, really irritated me. Workshop. Metalsmith's Forge. Uh, one there. Yep. Uh, F. We we'll always have them opposite each other because why not? Um, put on the rest in a minute. Once we get the forges and stuff in, and I cannot remember its furnaces, so it's E. So we need a wood furnace. Uh, that can go there. Uh, wood furnace there. Smelter. We'll have three of them. Glass furnace. I really don't care where it goes because I won't be using it. It's nice to have it in case a dwarf takes a notion and decides, you know what, I want to make something out of glass. Uh, now go back into our workshops. Don't need the kern and the millstone, the loom. Can go there. Uh, the boyer's workshop, we don't have one. Can go there. With two carpenters, uh, we need a jeweler's. I can go there. Uh, siege workshop, no. Farmers, yes. Door right. Um, kitchen. Not really the right place to have a kitchen. Should have it like offset from a uh, like a dining area. But to be honest, needs blocks and empty barrels. We can't do the ashery yet. D needs an empty barrel. That's so you're telling me. I have a pile of dwarves who are idle. Right? But I don't have any goddamn bards. Q. What the hell are you doing? It's all the spiked wooden balls. Uh, JM. Remove. If you know what? I don't care about them anymore. So I don't. There's too much stuff not getting done for whatever reason. Now, P. Need a line of wood stored. Because um, they're wooden furnaces, so. They can take wood from here. Now, we need stone. And. To be honest, it can go here, and we'll automatically quit out and change the settings of it to only accept metal ores. Nice. Now P bars. We need bars and blocks. Uh, they can go there for now. We'll probably take up more space eventually, but. Uh, nothing to be too concerned over just yet and uh, finished finished goods 
That'll do for now. Why you um, F1 F that. <laughs> Need a set of hockey. Uh H F five zoom here works N works too. There we go. And it's a little bit surely things will get moved around and stuff will be done. But not our gates. Fuck our gates apparently. I know not all dwarves have room yet, but you know, they're not getting a room unless they do work. And they're not doing the work. So screw them. <laughs> but anyway, actually, it's probably more than time to move on and start uh, wrapping up this video. So yeah, we've got our uh, second workshop area all set up here and we're going to start smelting gold very soon. We have traded and we've got quite a bit of materials from our Dwarven Brothers and that leaves our fort in quite a good position in terms of drink and food so we can concentrate on other things. I actually got the butcher finished, you know, that's a good thing but our gates are still undone which, you know, doesn't really matter. It's not like we want to defend our fort anyway from were creatures and goblins and the undead. Let's just let them walk in. Open door policy here at Granadars. And yeah, we still have the the dining area created and it's still a lot to achieve in this game. What the hell did I just do? Um still a hell of a lot to achieve. You know, there's taverns, there's uh, holy places, there's special rooms, there's a whole pile of uh, noble positions to fill and rooms that go with that. Uh, we'll eventually have an artifacts and uh, we still have to welcome the elves, the humans, and when I say welcome, I mean kill the elves. And yeah, lots of fun stuff to look forward to. Um, it's just these initial episodes are building towards that. So yeah, this episode is over. Please uh, go away and come back next time. And until then, goodbye and good luck.